Local charities have become a victim of the national economic crisis. More people are seeking help, but the charities themselves are running into financial problems because donations are dwindling. Here in Spokane, Truth Ministries Homeless Shelter lost three of their biggest donors this winter, so now they're asking for your help. KXY4 Sally Showman is live tonight at the intersection of Mission and Hamilton, where they have a fundraiser planned. Sally? They do. For next Saturday, Tori, they'll be on all four corners here at the intersection of Mission and Hamilton. They'll have buckets and they're hoping that drivers passing by will drop a buck or two in to help them out. Over the last six years, Truth Ministries has taken in thousands of homeless people, helping them kick their addictions, giving them a place to stay, and now the charity is the one who needs the help. I used to sleep underneath the bridge on uh, Maple Ash Street. Stephen Brown has come a long way since then. As if it wasn't for Truth Ministries uh, and, and other shelters and stuff, especially this one, um, I'd probably still be out there using drugs and drinking alcohol. Yeah. I, I feel that. I, I probably still would be. Brown spent about a year under this roof. This is the bed I slept in. He kicked his meth addiction here, he found God here, and he grew strong enough to live on his own here. This place does a lot for for a lot of people and stuff, and, and I, I want to see keep going. Brown's story is one that's been repeated hundreds of times over the past six years. We have our beds full almost every night. Julie McKinney and her husband Marty are the directors of Truth Ministries. These are uh, needles that we've found at different times. They've devoted their lives to helping others. Now they need help. Everything kind of hit at once this winter. Three of their major donors stopped giving money this winter, so the mission is running on about $1,500 less a month than before. At the same time, their bills have increased. They still owe Avista hundreds of dollars, but they keep their faith. God, he's been faithful so far, so we know that he's not going to let us down. Brown is hoping their prayers are answered by people in the community so the mission can continue to tell success stories like his. I just plead with the public to give what you can. Uh, a little bit goes a long ways down here. It really does. They won't only be out here collecting money. They also want to give the public information. They'll be handing out these flyers uh, telling people not to give money to panhandlers, to give their money to charities instead, instead because the money to panhandlers, they say, just feeds addiction. In Spokane tonight, Sally Shellman, KXLY4 HD News.